Welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a little tricky job to do, uh, little engineering tips and we're going to show you how to do stuff. The engine mounts on this uh, old TV175 casing literally fell in by hand and it's got to be a pressing fit so we don't want spinning around engine mounts. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to get around that problem and we're not going to lose use Loctite. So I'll show you how we did it now solid okay uh, in this episode we're gonna be talking about some uh, engineering tips old school engineering tips uh, nowadays if this happened some people prefer to use uh, bearing fit or Loctite but really it's not really suitable in some cases because your engine casing gets hot so that will just literally soften the Loctite or the bearing fit and uh, then it just becomes pointless. So what you have to do, we'll show you what the problem is on this casing, is that we can see that my engine mount literally falls in by hand. Which is now good. So, what we do is I'll show you a little sort of idea of here of what I do is if you have metal surface like that what we need to do is build up material so what you use is a center punch and you center punch it therefore you get a raise an indentation and then a raise so that's where your center punch hits and you've raised the metal on either side as a crater when a, when you get a crater impact you will get the rays of material on each side and that is what then we raise material within the within the surface on the inside and that makes it a knocking fit once more so that's what we're going to do so we'll get ourselves a hammer a nice little trusty center punch and we'll just put some small, they don't have to be massive,
Okay, so now it doesn't go in anymore. So now this should be a nice push-in fit. So we'll just do a little close-up of that. And that's what it kind of looks like after you've been in there. Nice even amount of punches around the surface and that will now raise enough material to give us a nice tight fit. Okay, uh, well my head's a bit big. Uh, now we can uh, we can fit our engine mount. I better just check we've got the right one. No. Hold on a minute. Give me other glasses on. Being as these are BGM, they have got a left and a right hand. Uh, hard to see. Maybe the R is easier to see. Ah, oh, okay, right hand. Left hand. Okay, so we're going to fit it with the the last hole facing down and the other two more or less forward and that is our correct position so on goes that Okay. And as you can see, it is now pulling it. Now if somebody had decided to use Loctite on that, the Loctite would have probably failed because of the heat of the engine. Once the heat of the engine got hot enough, then your engine mount would start moving around and the Loctite would just work its way out. So this way it is a good <coughs> solid fit, old school engineering stuff. Stuff they don't teach you in university. They're normally thick as shit when they come out of the uni anyway. Okay, to the ones alright. We'll set that one up in the position we wanted. And whiz it in. Now a similar thing can be done on uh, on shafts as well. If you've got a shaft and you want to put a bearing track on it, for example, your on a Lambretta, the most common one would be the the bearing track for your N, NU2205 bearing. If you're on a GP or NU205 on the normal one, but if you've got a crank that for some reason has been machined under size slightly or on the lowest tolerance and you, you, you've you got a really loose fit 
on your bearing in a tract instead of center punching you can also uh, use a file so for example if that was your crank surface and you wanted the, the bearing to fit here you can use the edge of a file and tap it all the way around little taps with your file like that on the side edge and that lifts all the material there just enough this was more excessive because I used the center punch because the, it was way way too loose but when you use a looking on bearing fits this is really a good way of, of uh, increasing the fit and making a tighter fit on a shaft instead of using bearing fit bearing fits okay on stuff that doesn't get hot but on cranks it gets hot bearing fits gonna fail right so uh, carry on put this side in eh So, a couple of engineering tips that you probably doesn't, don't get taught in university and shit like that. I don't think they go past much past the bloody laptop in a university now, do they? I think that's what they do now, press bloody buttons all day. So, uh, hand skills are disappearing and engineering skills and simply disappear if people don't know how to get around problems. We'll do other stuff another day when I come across another problem and uh, show you how to remove broken studs and stuff like that. So that was today's little tip on how to make the uh, surface tighter fit. In and done. So yeah, we. This is a nice original TV175 casing. So we we'll just put the new energy mounts in there, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, two sets of glasses. Hang on. Let's put the other ones on. Getting old, you see. Close ups, distance, blah blah blah. Right, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, episode uh, showing you how to fatten up surfaces, raise surfaces so you can get tight to fits on bearings, bearing tracks, shafts, and engine mounts. So, there you go. Don't always rely on Loctite, Loctite fails. It's only good for some things, but not for everything. So, don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow my channel. I need your support. See you later, guys. She's waiting.